Hey everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. So excited to release the first books of this year. There are five of them, including It's Okay to Cry, Tender Self-Care Coloring Book. It's for you to heal and let your creativity take over any anxiety or fear. I've also made Draw One Girl in 20 Dresses, Slim and Curvy Editions, so you can draw all kinds of beautiful dresses for different body types, as well as their corresponding workbooks. More info's coming later in this video. Okay, let's do this. Part 4 of Villains as Pretty Princesses. I'm going to start with Bill Cipher, and I'm really excited for today's episode because it's been a while since I've done my Villains as Pretty Princesses series. I know you've been asking for more uh, content like this, so let's get started. I am super excited. Let's see how I'm going to turn Bill into a beautiful princess. And I know more of you have been asking for more Gravity Falls content, so I hope you enjoy this. One of the things that I was thinking about when I was, you know, like starting this design was... How am I going to turn a floating triangle into a pretty lady? Yeah. Now, that was a challenging one. So I was thinking, obviously, the triangular, like, uh, design element, you know, it's really important to incorporate that, but obviously I don't want to make her face or anything like a triangle. I want her to look like an actual, like, normal looking, you know, like, human being, you know, character. Uh, but with triangular elements in there somehow. And then as for the eye, I, I had to think about a way to make the face of my pretty princess resemble that of Bill Cipher in a way so that, you know, she can stand out as her own design, uh, but she's also very familiar and very connected to the original character. I was experimenting with different dress designs and I came up with this tiered look where it's like these uh, triangular pieces or layers are layered on top to form her dress. And I really like that because each piece reminds me of the actual, you know, triangle of Bill Cipher. But when they come together, it looks like this interesting, uh, unique looking dress design. So I really like that. It's a little... Uh, it's not so obvious. I didn't just try to draw her in like this one big triangular dress. I kind of layered things on top and made it more detailed, made it suit my semi-realistic style more. I just love how the dress kind of flows with her. It looks more, it's not so rigid, it's not solid looking. It looks more like fabric, so it has this naturalistic feel to it. When I was designing her, I was thinking about the time when I turned Bill Cipher into a human male uh, in my previous video from before. And I was thinking about like the ways that I turned him versus what I'm doing now. So I'm glad that the like the um, creative angles I'm going with are a little bit different. I loved adding the black to the yellow. I think the color combination is so striking. Before I forget, thank you for all of your comments and likes in my latest shorts video. That last line was very challenging. I'm glad you enjoyed it, as well as my Princesses as Goths video. Okay, what do you think of her character? Like, what would she be doing or what could she do in her storyline? If she were a pretty princess, would she be... I don't know, would she be a good guy or would she still be evil? Hmm. Let me know if you have any fan theories or silly ideas or backstories in the comments. I love to read them. Okay, the second villain I'm going to turn into a beautiful princess is Spinel from Steven Universe. And I'm so excited to do this because I've been waiting to do something more in the Steven Universe 
universe on my channel. So I hope you enjoy. One of the reasons why I love Steven Universe so much, you know, besides the really good characters and the story and the meaning messages behind it, it's just the, you know, the character designs are so interesting. I love them. But I think Spinel would be one of my most favorite character designs because of her hair. I just love that. And like the, the face, the outfit, it's just, you know, everything about her you know, is so... Like, to me, I feel it's very distinctive and it's memorable and just, you know, she's cute. I thought it'd be nice to have her gem as like this upside down heart design, almost like a pendant, perhaps, or like this jeweled um, piece right in front of her dress. As I was inking my princess design, I kept on thinking about, you know, what if, you know, she was in this uh, alternate universe where she's royalty and she's this princess of this great big kingdom. Uh, perhaps she's very bubbly. She might be the youngest of the royal family. And so maybe if you're like a visitor to her castle, she'd be greeting you like this with like open arms or she would be like really, you know, friendly towards like travelers or strangers. Okay, now I cannot wait to get the colors in. I designed her with lots of sections in her dress and design for different areas for like, you know, lots of different colors. So I can't wait to get into all of that. It's going to be delicious. One thing I was mindful of when I was designing the color scheme for this piece was the balancing of the darks versus the light colors. Because this design is going to be mainly in like pinks and fuchsias, the color scheme is going to be quite limited. So the like the contrast of light and dark colors will be a bigger part of this design. My first how to draw book releases of the year is Draw One Girl in 20 Dresses. I made the slim and curvy editions so you can learn how to draw and design all kinds of gorgeous, professional looking dresses and gowns for diverse body types. If you enjoy how I design my dresses for my characters in these videos, you'll love these new books because I created lots of never before seen original dress designs exclusively for these titles. You'll learn how to approach drawing dresses from simple shapes and lines, and through color-coded steps and easy instructions, you'll get a head start on how to draw dresses for your own characters. I made them as ebooks and paperback books. Take advantage of my years of art experience and training, and you'll learn valuable techniques and skills. Take your art sessions even further with my workbooks. You get to draw and color right on the same body templates I made for the how to draw books. So you don't have to worry about drawing proportionate figures first. You can just dive right in into designing. Use the how to draw books as your guides and the workbooks as your hands on practice. I love to keep making books to help you improve your art, creativity and inspire you to be the best artist you can be. The link to my Mayu bookstore on Amazon is in the video description. Happy drawing. I am so in love with these colors, oh my god! You know, like just the way the brightness and the shine of the light colors makes the, like the dress look really shimmery or shiny and the darks make everything look really like dramatic and formed and dimensional. I just love layering colors. It's so satisfying. Honestly, I really have to catch up on this series, so I am almost done watching Steven Universe, and then I cannot wait to watch the movie. But if you have, let me know which one did you like, or what was your most favorite episode, season, or like favorite part. I like how my princess design is very, you know, like energetic and she looks bubbly. She looks kind, uh, you know, and really like just out there, very sugary and sweet. And I love how her hair just kind of like goes up like that. It's a nice energetic feel. 
I knew I forgot something. There, now she's done. All right, villain number three is going to be none other than Bowser from Mario. I am really excited to turn this gruff looking muscular guy into a beautiful, pretty princess. One of the major challenges I faced when I was designing my princess uh, from this character it was because, you know, Bowser has all these very sharp, strong looking like horns or spikes, uh, you know, even his face, his eyebrows, uh, the hair, they all, they're all very important to the Bowser design, but how am I going to make those elements uh, look like they could belong on a beautiful, elegant princess. So that was the thing I had to kind of like balance in my head. I was trying different things, different concept sketches. I wanted to incorporate, you know, as many of those Bowser-esque, you know, elements into my design without making them look like they're just tacked on or they're too forced on my princess design. They had to look like they belong on her in a way that was, you know, that could work for her design. She may not be like a traditional looking princess, but she's still a beautiful princess. So that was the, like the direction I was going for. I also like this body type for her. I think it's beautiful, unique, and different. And especially her pose where she has like her hand kind of like, you know, holding part of her dress out in front. And then I got to have a lot of opportunity to draw these beautiful lines in the dress. I just really love drawing these long flowing lines. And I'm glad you told me many times before that you find my inking process really relaxing for you. I wanted to create a fancier edge for the bottom of the dress so I have this trim going around and then I'm drawing these like beautiful little studded diamonds all along the bottom edge and I just can't wait until I add color to this. I think the color scheme I have in mind is going to be quite striking. I love how her hair shape reminds me of Bowser's horns. As for the color design of her dress, I was thinking if I should go with a darker color on top or should I leave the darker color on the bottom. After thinking about it for a bit, I thought to give the like the top part a darker color. So that's why I'm going in with the different shades of greens right now. And then the bottom part, the big gown part, ideally would be lighter and then I can get something like really dark going on the very bottom for contrast. But I really like the idea of when I took the like the ring spike around his neck and I turned that into like an elegant looking like necklace around her. And then as for the armbands around his shoulders with the spikes on them, I turned them into these soft looking like sleeves or straps of her dress. And then they have these little tiny like crystal or diamond studs on them to kind of look like the big spikes, but obviously they're not sharp. They're more elegant, they're jewels, so it kind of fits better in my princess design. Oh, I love the black against the yellow. The contrast is so striking. I also love how the diamond studs in the bottom part of the dress reminds me of her straps. I think this has a really nice cohesive look to it. Now I'm wondering what kind of name should she have? Does Bowser still work or could it be something else? Okay, now I'm gonna turn one of my most favorite animated villains into a beautiful, pretty princess. So let's see how Scar from The Lion King is gonna look like. So I knew right away that her features had to be a little bit more sharper, more jagged looking, and I was all for it because I really love designing women and, you know, like princesses with all kinds of like various facial features. 
I knew I'm gonna have some fun with her eyebrows, the shape of her eyes, and of course the scar in there. And as well, I was thinking about how was I going to like draw her hairstyle? Because Scar has this, you know, really nice looking thick black mane. And I was thinking about what if I created something that's, you know, kind of like wild, but also, you know, it's very stylish in a way that could suit my princess design. So I was playing around with uh, her hair as well, and I think she's gonna look awesome. In case you're a fan of The Lion King and missed it, I reimagined The Lion King movie poster in the Tim Burton style before. I hope you enjoy my take. Recently, I've been getting more comments from old fans who used to watch my Funny Draw tutorials like years ago, and now they've rediscovered me. Welcome back! I love all of you no matter if you're new, returning, or if you've been with me for years. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you won't miss my new videos. I can't wait to do more art challenges and new books for you. For her dress, I was thinking about a design that would still kind of look or resemble a traditional like princess dress, but obviously I'm going to change a lot of the things, like for example the sleeves, I'm not going to have puffy sleeves, instead I have this opening that goes across her front and around her shoulders, I thought that was uh, very like, you know, elegant and minimalistic kind of design, I gave her these long gloves. And as for the color scheme of her dress, I was thinking I wanted colors that would be bold, that would remind me of Scar, and you know, the contrast of the colors would be striking, so this princess could look like she has a lot of power and control. As for the trim of the dress underneath, I went for a furry design just to kind of remind me of the original character. My newest coloring book is something I hope can help those of you who have gone or are going through anxious or tough times to relax and heal using the power of your own creativity. I named it It's Okay to Cry, Tender Self-Care Coloring Book, because I feel society or that inner self-critic in all of us can be quite restrictive when it comes to us, you know, feeling either fear or pressure or anxiety. I want this coloring book to help us feel it's okay to cry, it's okay to feel down sometimes. These are normal things that everyone goes through, and there shouldn't be any shame or guilt to it. I made really heartfelt, emotional, and positive images exclusively for this coloring book because I sincerely hope that, you know, my art, in some way, can help some of you rediscover your inner strength. At least, I hope this coloring book can help you feel rejuvenated, calmed, and help you create some positive memories. I truly believe creativity and imaginative thinking can be a great source of comfort. I made three different sizes and formats, the regular soft cover, the large soft cover, and the large hard cover, since many of you told me you have your own preferences on how you like to finish my line art. Keep being your awesome selves, everyone. Know that you're not alone and that I'm thinking of you all the time. We're all on this journey in life together, and I'm glad to have you with me as I evolve as an artist and creator. I also love seeing your wonderful coloring creations on Instagram with the hashtag MayYouArt and in the Amazon reviews. I'll be sharing more of your beautiful pieces in another video in the future. Keep creating and happy coloring. I am so in love with Princess Scar. I think she turned out exactly what I had in mind, but as I was signing this piece, I felt that there could be a little bit something more to this design. So I was thinking about what it was, and then I realized maybe I needed more contrast. So I went back into the gloves. I added the black in there because of the contrast. It was really striking, and so it added more to like that powerful look of her. Smash the like button real good if you want to see part 5 and also let me know in the comments who was your favorite villain princess in part 4 and who else do you want to see me turn into princesses? 
subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications so you won't miss any future video I do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next fun Friday. I want to thank everyone who got my different coloring books and various how to draw books. I'm glad that my art can help inspire you to keep up your creativity, relax, create something you can call your own, and build your skills at the same time. No matter if you're a casual colorist or someone who's more serious in pursuing art in your life, my books can help you realize your full artistic potential. I've now made 90 books and counting, from ebooks to coloring books, paperbacks, workbooks and hardcovers so there's something for everyone. I'm building a whole bookstore for you on many different interests and topics and I'll keep making titles that can help many of you in all kinds of creative ways. Once you build those skills and your artistic eye, it's yours forever and you can do whatever you want with your skills. It's a very proud feeling because you accomplished something truly special. I can't wait to see your future fan creations. Own or gift these books now. They make great additions to your book collection and get them for birthdays, road trips, relaxing weekends and holidays, back to school, or just for a nice creative break to de-stress. Experience the power of your inner creativity. The link to my Mayu bookstore on Amazon is in the video description. Happy drawing and coloring, everyone!